Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. This is Lunchtime News. We move on to messages of peaceful elections reverberated across the country as Kenyans ushered in 2022. As the country heads to the general elections in the next eight months, Kenyans have also been urged to put into office ideal leaders. As the country continues to usher in the new year, the church is now urging Kenyans to be critical in choosing the type of leaders they prefer in the August 9th general election. Bishop Margaret Njiri of the Jesus is Alive Ministries, who is also a politician, is now making a clarion call to political parties to ensure the free and fair primaries. Nominations zikifika, tufika wakati ambapo, nominations will be free and fair. Tusifike kama nominations zenye zilifanyika hiyo hiyo elections zingine iliyopita wakati ambapo watu waliibua ma certificate certificate zikauzwa na watu wenye ambao walikuwa na uongozi bora wakabaki nje and you umeona mambo Kenya imeharibika sana because wenye uongozi bora walibaki nje watu wengine wakaingia wenye ambao hata huku wanaelewa uongozi ni nini her sentiments were echoed by Reverend James Mogire and Reverend Robert Getugi in Kisi Town at the Getembe Church of God in East Africa, Kenya, who urged Kenyans to vote in the right leaders. Na tunendea kuomba ya kuamba viongozi waweza kuwa mufono mwema kwa 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 wana wana kwa wana inchi. Tuweza kuwa watu wa minifu. Tuwache mambo ya hongo, mambo ya corruption. Tena tukaweze kuwachagua viongozi wale ambao wanaogopa ama wanamuogopa mungu. In Mandera, the current drought dominated the New Year atmosphere with calls for enhanced efforts to distribute relief food to those badly hit by the calamity. Ukame imegonga tena sisi kupita ata zaidi mpaka sasa wananchi wamelemua kabisa. Kwa hivyo tunomba sirkali wasaide wananchi ya Mandera Sarafina Robi for Lunchtime News.